Now I'm going to talk about how to recover from a serious problem where you discover that some time ago you either messed up or deleted a file. And there have been so many commits since that time that it's not practical to try to revert your way back to the version that contains the file that you want. Because perhaps there were other files in the commit that are fine in the current version. You just need one particular file from somewhere back in time. If I go to the online version of the repository in GitHub, if I click on the commit number, it will take me to a listing of the commit history. Here is where creating clear and explicit commit messages really comes in to help you. Because I need to find the point in time where the file existed in the condition that I wanted, and I'm going to have to look at these descriptions here to decide where in the history of the file I need to go to find the version that I want. If it's not clear to me from the descriptions, there's another option that I can use, which is to simply step back in time, starting with the most recent commit. So if I click on this button here, this shows me the most recent commit. Let's go back one farther by clicking on the parent because I know it's not the most recent one. And here I see a side-by-side -side, uh, diff for the file that I'm interested in, this Jupyter Notebook. But this is not the change that I'm interested in, so let's go back another commit. All right, um, it looks like maybe this is the one that I want based on the changes that I'm seeing here. So now what I can do, this is uh, diff is showing me all the files that were added or changed in that particular commit. If I want to just go to this particular file, I can go up to this little dot 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 here and select view file. And it will send me to the version of that file at that particular commit at that particular time in history. And now it's rendered it as a Jupyter Notebook, so I can see, yes, this is the version that I want. Now I can just click on the raw button here, right click on it and say, save link as, and save it somewhere. Maybe I want it in my downloads folder. And now I'm good to go. I can just manipulate it however I want. It's actually a little bit easier to go through this process if you use GitHub Desktop. I can simply go to my history, and the layout's a little easier to use here. So in the first column, I have the um, commit messages, and then just if I click on the file, I can see the diff over here on the right. So it's a little bit easier to see, aha, this is the version I want. If I click here, I can see that I went back too far. Uh, in this case, I can take the file that I want to recover, right click on it, and say view on GitHub. And what that will do then is to send me directly to the diff in that particular version. And again, I can use this dot 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 view file, and it'll take me right to the version of the file at that time. And again, I can use the raw button to download the file. So this is useful also if you've deleted a file a long time ago and you realize that that was a mistake, then you just want to go back through the version history until you find the commit where you actually deleted the file 